Okay, let's go ahead and discuss joint actions and planes of motion. So let's go ahead and start with the anatomical planes of motion. And as you can see on the screen here, we have three primary planes of motion. That is the frontal plane, often called the coronal plane. This divides front from back. The sagittal plane, this divides left from right. And the transverse, often called the horizontal plane, which divides top from bottom. Here's another look at each of these anatomical planes all in one look. And here's our first chance to look at the axes of these different planes of motion. So we can see that the transverse plane of motion has a longitudinal axis of rotation. We see that the frontal plane has an anterior posterior axis of rotation and we see the sagittal plane has a transverse axis of rotation. So one of the key points and the key takeaways that I want you to get out of this is that each plane of motion has a corresponding axis of rotation. As you can see in the chart here, if you can identify one or the other, you know which it coordinates to. So if you can identify the plane of motion, you know the axis of rotation. If you can identify the axis of rotation, you know the plane of motion. And one of the key things here is remember that all of the joint actions are actually defined based on this standard anatomical position. So if we go back a slide here, this is the standard anatomical position. So however the joint action would occur from this starting position is how it's defined. It doesn't matter how the body is oriented. If this person is laying down, the joint action still occurs in its corresponding plane of motion. All this would just tilt sideways as if they were laying down. So one of the ways that you can identify joint actions and their axis of rotation is you can think of it like a bicycle wheel. A bicycle wheel has its axes of rotation in the very center of the wheel around the spokes. And you can see the spokes rotate around that axis. So if you were to overlay a bicycle wheel over the joint action that you're seeing, the wheel is what rotates, the axis is the point at which it rotates around. Another key way to determine what plane of motion a joint action is happening in is from which view, which anatomical view, frontal, sagittal, or transverse, can you actually measure the angle change of the joint action? So on screen, we could see an example of shoulder abduction. And you can see that from the frontal plane, we can measure the joint angle change. However, from the sagittal plane view and the transverse plane view, we can't actually measure the joint action and the angle change. So we know that shoulder abduction occurs in the frontal plane because that's the plane that we can measure the angle change. Thank you so much for watching that. I hope you learned a bit more about biomechanics. I have a couple of videos on the screen that I think you will find helpful, but I also want to recommend you check out biomechanics101.com. It's my massively in-depth biomechanics website that has everything from a full-fledged biomechanics university level course to the ultimate study guide and even a free biomechanics practice test. You could head over there, get that test for free, and you can even use the code in the description below to get 20% off anything you purchase over there. Hopefully I'll see you there, and regardless, I'll see you in the next video.